Good morning. You want to try something funny? Try talking to people about the climate again. Do it now. Yeah, I tried it. I got bored of uh, talking about the flu and the shots. I thought, let's talk about rising sea levels and the temperatures. <laughs> it didn't work. People are not interested. Oh, they don't want to talk about it. And I think uh, people who are dealing with the climate, you know, the climate people, they are a bit sad about this. They, they got so much attention for many, many years now. And now there's like nothing. Now it's all about the flu and the shot. And they are a bit sad about this. I have good news for you guys, you climate people. Because today IPCC is publishing another climate report. Today, Monday. Uh, the last one was published eight years ago, and you know what happened. There was this fantastic panic. Uh, the birth of Greta Thunberg. Media, they were all over this every day, right? And the politicians, they were raising the taxes, and everybody was happy. Yeah, you remember this. You know, kids, they got so scared. So they went on strike and they were protesting, you see. So now they are, I suppose, they are trying to get this going again. And they are publishing this report. And I was reading about it in this fantastic newspaper, The Guardian. Yeah. They are quite interesting. You know, every time I log in to The Guardian, they tell me, they say, you have been uh, reading so and so many articles. Uh, how about giving us some money? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so they wrote about this report and they said this was the headline World's Climate Scientists to Issue Stark Warning Over Global Heating Threat. And then they said, uh, less than three months before vital UN talks that will determine the future course of life on Earth. So, of course, yeah, media, they will try to pump this up again. But I don't think it's going to work, do you? The people, uh, they have been living now for many years after this, after this panic. And I suppose they have been watching. Like they have been watching the sea, for instance, yeah. And it didn't rise by 10 feet. And, you know, people has been around for a long time, like myself. We know that we had hot, hot summers in the 60s and the 70s and so on. We know this, yeah. And it's not very hot. You see, this summer is not very hot. Uh, well, it's normal, isn't it? Yeah. So I don't think it's going to work. They will try though. Yeah, to get some attention back, to get some panic going again. Yeah. No, it's all about the flu and the shot and the lockdowns and the restrictions. Yes. And they started giving the shot in December last year, right? So now it's been like seven, eight months. So maybe now, by now, we will see a rise in mortality. Maybe. I'm not saying so. Just maybe. Because there's people who's been saying this. They claim, like this uh, French Nobel Prize winner, professor, said people will kick the bucket within two years after getting the shot. And there's been others who's been claiming something similar. And I was watching this doctor yesterday, um, this Canadian doctor, Dr. Roger Hodgkinson. Ah, what a great guy this is. Yeah, I love this guy. The angry doctor from Alberta, Canada. And I will post a link to his speech. There was something interesting about this. Because when I was going to check it out, there was a warning <laughs> uh, from 
the antivirus company. Yeah, they said, oh, this is a bad link. You shouldn't check this out, you see. And this made me, of course, more interested. Anyway, so I was watching him and this guy is uh, he's confirming basically everything that we have been saying. Yeah, and he's doing a fantastic job with it and he's very, very angry. Now, this guy is working with these things all the time. He's got a fantastic CV yeah. and he's uh, risking his career. That's what he says by speaking up. Uh, one thing, one of the highlights is he says, uh, uh, don't believe anything they tell you. Wow. <laughs> yeah, so that's good. You know, I'm so grateful for all these uh, doctors who's coming out, speaking up. And I, of course, despise all those doctors who know that there's something wrong here and they don't speak up because they are afraid to lose their jobs or something. Well, I sort of understand, yeah, but still, I can't, I can't like it, you see, because they, they are supposed to care about people, these doctors, aren't they? Yeah. But this guy is a hero, Roger Hodgkinson. And I think it is fascinating that he's confirming everything that we have been saying. I mean, I'm not a doctor, of course. I know very little about these things. I'm starting to learn now, yeah, but this guy is working with this every day for years and years, right, so it's brilliant. All right, so uh, yeah, another thing, I just heard this, that they are starting giving the third shot to people now in Israel. Wow. All right, be good.